Amira. <gasps> Amira has a woohoo with anyone ever. And now she wants to woohoo with Jabari. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the royal family i want to call you guys something else besides everyone and guys i know that some simmers for example i think that pixelade he calls his little lemons and then i think claire siobhan calls hers peacheroonies so it'd be cute to have like a little nickname for you guys one of my patrons suggested what did they suggest they suggested little sunshines because my real name is ray so like ray of sunshine so if you guys have a preference and you want to put some suggestions in the comments below or if you like little sunshines you can let me know so yeah I just wanted to say that because I was like thinking I was like I need to call them something else they, I just feel tired of saying everyone or or guys or hello so I wanted to think of something but yeah let me know what you guys think in this episode we are going to do a few different things I want well first I know that Johan and Sadira should be having their baby like any minute it. I think also Kellen and Megan should, might be having their baby in this episode. And then also for uh, Prince James. I want Prince James to propose to Lord Ian. And then we might get to do a few other things as well. I want to focus on other families. I feel like we've been focusing on the Brindleton Bay family a lot, which is fine because we don't usually focus on them, but we're definitely going to focus on them in this episode. I've had a lot of kids age up too. So I will probably, I'm thinking of doing a debut Tom Ball for the kids. I was thinking of doing it for the kids specifically, not just the teenagers. So we might do some sort of event for all of the kids and just like invite all of the kids over, but we'll see. I'm still debating if I want to wait till they're teenagers. I should probably decide as soon as possible because otherwise they're going to turn into teenagers soon. I still have all of the decorations from the wedding. I need to fix that. I wanted to film now because I knew that they would be having their baby soon, Sadira. So I was like, I need to film this now. And then I need to like do all this other stuff, like fix the castles and age up some other people and like match some people up. But I needed, I needed to get this on film, like her actually having her baby I think she should be having it like any oh she's in labor oh it's go time okay well social service will provide a complimentary bassinet well thank you social services I guess she's just going to be having the baby in the dining room wow that was like perfect timing okay oh okay guys so it's a boy so I had my patrons help me decide on a name and we voted Frederick so I know that I can't fit Prince in front of actually can I Prince Frederick I don't think so. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm just going to put Frederick right now, or Frederick, Frederick, I think it's Frederick. So we are going to name him Prince Frederick. So yeah, they helped me vote, my patrons helped me vote. I sent them like a ton of your baby name suggestions and that's kind of the one that we came up with for boys. So I'm glad I did this beforehand because otherwise it takes me so long and then there's just like this long part of my recording. Oh gosh, oh, the baby's on the floor. There's just a long part of my recording that's just empty space because I'm looking at all the baby names and I'm like, which one do I choose? I don't know. Okay, we can to move the baby to the nursery and I need that's what I need to do I need to expand a lot of things on this palace because we do not have enough rooms I still have wedding decorations up it's like a whole thing oh wait why can't I put the baby in the crib okay there we go now we got the baby in the crib so this is their first baby this is Prince Frederick I think they're going they are going to have to wait a little bit they're gonna have to wait until Prince Jack or Jack Prince James moves out because we can't have any more people in the house at the moment. I know you can expand the number of people you can have in the house when you have the MC command center, but they give you this warning about how it might affect. Oh wait, why can't I get to the baby? Oh, unlock. Okay. I, uh, well, it gives you this warning that you can't, what is it? It gives you a warning that like your game might be slower or not work as properly. And I don't want to mess with too many things. Like, the game's already getting a little bit slow, so I'd prefer not to make it even slower by having more than eight people in a household. We'll have to see. I'll see. But for now, I'm just going to keep it at the eight limit, and then I'll have them wait a little bit before they have another baby. But that is what I want to do. I want Prince James... Oh, no, wait. No, not Sadira. I want Prince James to propose to Lord Ian, and I don't exactly know where. I know it's Sunday, and I tried this whole Sunday market 
thing and it still doesn't seem to be working and I don't know why. We can go to the Sunday market so I can just show you at least. If you guys can see, there's like this Sunday, oh gosh, okay, I can't point to it, but there's like a Sunday market trait right there. So that is what you're supposed to give a lot in order for it to allow Sunday markets. I don't know if it is because I am playing from, oh, Wait, no, no, Sadira, no. I don't need Sadira to travel. I need Prince James to travel. Okay, yeah, James is inviting Ian. So Lord Ian and him are going to go to the marketplace. This is actually where they had their first date, I'm pretty sure. So that's really cute if he proposes to him here. But I'll show you guys kind of what you need for the Sunday markets. I don't know why it didn't work. It might be because for the Sunday markets, you need one of those vendor tables and I didn't add the vendor table until like Sunday afternoon. That might be why. I'm so sorry, it's been like what, three Sundays that I I've tried to do this and it still hasn't worked. Hopefully by the next Sunday, it'll work. The time usually goes by pretty fast because I'm like actually doing stuff like during the sim week and trying to age up all the sims and like get them together. So it will come sooner than you know it in the next few episodes, hopefully. But yeah, I was supposed to add these vendor tables, but I didn't add it until like mid Sunday. So maybe it's supposed to already be there for it to work is what I'm assuming. Now it is just Ian and James, maybe? they can go. I know this is the Windenburg marketplace, but I'm trying to find a cute little place for them to go. Let's have them go just on the outskirts of the market to try to get away from everyone so I can have them sit and talk here. I was waiting a while for them to get engaged, but I feel like honestly now is a good time. Where are you going? Yeah, but they've been together for a while. So Lord Ian, his brother is supposed to inherit the ti- I forgot what the parent's title is. Oh, Marquis. Okay, so his brother is supposed to inherit the title of Marquis, but his brother might end up marrying someone who is supposed to inherit their own title. So I might make them- yeah, I might make him inherit the title of Marquis, and then that way they can move to Willow Creek. So- or- or Prince James could be someone's royal advisor too. He could be someone's royal advisor. I think that would actually be a good idea. Oh no, wait, come back. Where, where do they keep going? I'm not sure. They keep running over there for some reason. Anyway, okay. I am going to have now Prince James propose to Lord Ian. Are they gonna stay here? They are, oh wait, no, I'm totally missing this. I was fast forwarding that. Oh yay, he's proposing you guys. Is he, yeah, Lord Ian says yes, guys, yay. Okay, oh, that's so sweet. But now they're engaged, so yay, that's so exciting. Okay, we are going to go to save and manage world. So we're super happy for them. I think that Megan and, who am I thinking of? Megan and Kellen, they will be having their baby pretty soon too. People were saying that if they have a baby, then like they can't focus on like the charity work and they can't travel as much. I think they're still going to try to focus on that. They're going to get a royal nanny and a governess and they are also going to try, they're going, or what is it? Oh yeah, Henry, King Henry and Ava, they're going to watch after their baby when they're gone and they're only gonna have one kid. They're not gonna have a lot of children. So they'll be, still be able to do the stuff they're meant to do. I do want to check back in with our, fam our royal family of Windenburg because we haven't really gotten to pay much attention to them. Oh, and I know we also haven't touched back on Charlotte and the fact that she is the nanny at Oasis Springs. People were saying like, I'm surprised they didn't do a background check on her. I, was th I thought about doing that, but I was like, this is a game. I don't know how into this and, and detailed I wanna get. But I mean, technically, yes, they would have run a background check on her and Prince Dean, which is Charlotte's brother, brother would have had to pull a bunch of strings to say, he can't say that that's his sister because otherwise Queen Lindsay would know who she is. But he, I think he just had to vouch for her saying, oh, she's a good person. Like I met her in Sulani, like all this stuff. So yeah, oh my gosh, we still have our army of snowmen here that the children were making the other day. This, does this one have hair? Oh my gosh, I thought that one had like hair, like a toupee for it. So basically what has been happening is that Amira has been focusing a lot on her different skills. She's trying to be super well-rounded and she is really well-rounded. She has a lot of different skill levels and different things. She is not like mastered anything yet, but I think she thinks that being a good ruler, I mean, one, being in touch with the people and, and having a good sense of what they want. So she's been focusing on stuff and the kids are also, they should do their homework. They've been focusing on their studies as well. They're already breezing through their homework, which is really great. But I was thinking that Amira would get together with Jabari because she was trying to show him 
him around Windenburg as well, and I feel like she hasn't gotten that much of a chance to show him around. Makai is still living in Windenburg, but he's kind of been going back and forth between Windenburg and Brindleton Bay, just because I feel like Brindleton Bay is the land for new opportunities to me because all, oh no, <gasps> Diana fell out of range. To, oh, oh, the irresponsible trait. You were almost at the irresponsible trait. That's not good. Oh dear. <gasps> Diana, your responsibility has gone so low. Why? I need to give her a project to work on so she can fix that. Oh no, Diana's gonna be irresponsible. I feel like she's going to be wild, just like Amira was when she was a teenager. I forgot what I was, oh, Makai. So yes, Brindleton Bay is kind of the land for new opportunities. Most of the noble families were there because they were starting new. And I mean, King Jared, he like made the kingdom and discovered the kingdom and all that because he was looking for a new opportunity and a new land to, I don't know if this makes sense, but like start his new life basically. Is that the word I'm looking for? I feel like I'm not touching on this correctly. But anyway, I feel like a opportunity has arised for Makai there. So he's been spending a lot of time learning from the Dukes and, and like, which is Corinne's family. So I've been spending a lot of time with them and the Marquis, which is Princess Anna's husband's family. So it's like, I know a lot of this is so confusing for people who have not seen the series. I apologize. I'll try not to reference things that much. I just like hearing how they connect with everything. It's just very intriguing to me. Diana, did you leave your sister Amira to work on this project by yourself and now you're going to go cause a mess? Uh-uh, Amira, you need to be more strict with your sister. She, you're, not, you're not doing this project for her. She is helping or you're helping her with the project. My goodness, she just left when her sister offered to help with her project, that's awful. I do really want to get a family portrait of the Windenburg family too, because I got one of the Oasis Springs Royal family and I have one of the Willow Creek Royal family. It takes so long though, but I, I got one of them. So I need to get one of the Windenburg Royal family too. Okay, Diana has gotten more responsibility. It's still kind of low. All right, she's gonna have to be doing a lot of extra credit work. You know what, Diana, work on this one too, but Amira is not gonna help you with this. This one, Amira has to do her own things now. So it is now daylight. Oh, the kids actually have to go to school. So Diana, you can work on that a little bit later. But I think that now Amira is going to invite Jabari to go somewhere in Windenburg. I want her to show him a few different places in Windenburg. I was kind of thinking we were just at the marketplace. So not, th although that would have been a good place to show him. We'll kind of go to a few different places. So why don't we first have them go to like the art center? Oh, Oh, this is Windenburg University. I forgot about that. Oh. Okay, if you saw my Q&A, oh wait, no. Yeah, if you saw my Q&A, you heard me talk about university. I'm not planning on having university here for the royal family. This is kind of the university that I had just because it was like a place where they could all build their, their skills. And I've had our Sims hang out there in the past. So I'll show it to you guys real quick for those of you who have not seen it. Whoa, where's Jabari? Why can't she invite Jabari anywhere? <gasps> what? Okay, why don't you go there by yourself and then see if you can invite Jabari. Is it because he lives in Selva Dorada and that's not like a actual world that we're supposed to be living in? Okay, Jabari is now here. This is probably not. No, Jabari, come back. Okay, I have to ask him to hang out. I also have to add him to the group so he doesn't disappear. Oh, they just kiss each other on the cheek. This is probably not the best day to be going out and about. I'm gonna have Amira and Jabari go inside so they can sit down together. Oh gosh, there's like a serious storm. I realize that I don't have aspiration or not aspirations, whims. I don't have whims turned on. Oh yeah, show whims. I kind of, I want to show whims because I want to see when, I, I would just want to save real quick, but I want to see if Amira wants to kiss Jabari. I have first kiss as an option. It's not showing us any of her whims at the moment. Jabari is feeling pretty tense because of the incredible snowstorm happening right now. So this is the Windenburg University that I have. I just think it's funny that I'm showing this to you guys when the whole university stuff is, is out right now, but it has like these little dorm rooms and then I'm assuming you can redo, oh, that would actually be fun, would be remodeling the whole university 
university. I wonder if it's different worlds. I'm not sure. I didn't look that much into it, but I'm sure there'll be more information out by the time this video comes out, but I'm, I am curious to see what goes on there. But yeah, I will not be doing a university anything for our royal family. I am saving that for my dynasty series. So if you have not seen that yet, you can check it out. It mostly takes place like in the city and it's about rich people and all that stuff. So it's kind of like a very modern, non-royal version of our royal family, if that makes sense. And with way less sims, so it's less complicated. But yeah, anyway, you guys can check that out if you want to. And we have like a whole science layer here too. So it's a lot of fun. This is really cool. This is definitely like a cool little place for just sims to build their skills. Okay, I think the storm has lightened up now. Yeah, this looks a lot. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, this looks a lot better. It still looks very dark and dreary in wind and bird, but just the city looks really cool. We rarely go into the city in this series. So this is actually really, really cool. I love the view on the, even though it is dark and gray and dreary, it still looks pretty interesting. All right, now that the weather has let up, let us have them go to another place. I was kind of thinking of having her show him the island bluffs. And now, okay, the only thing I'm scared of is that there's a very uh, romantic aura here. And this is where Johan and Princess May would meet when they were having their little affair. This this is where King Henry proposed to Queen Ava. So I don't know if some romantic interactions are going to happen. I'm not trying to make intera uh, romantic interactions happen. I kind of just want to see if they do because I still want Amira and Jabari. They've been taking things slow. They've just been friends for the most part and talking even though Jabari still has a huge crush on her. And Amira's kind of just been trying to hide the any feelings that she has really. So we'll see if this works. I don't think they should go swimming because it is very cold right now. Oh, this is also where Kellen and Megan got engaged, or they got engaged and married here. Guys, that first kiss interaction is just hovering there. I'm not gonna pick, although she does, what does she wanna do? <gasps> oh, Amira. <gasps> Guys, Amira wants to ask Prince Jabari to be her boyfriend and she wants Prince Jabari. She wants to woohoo with him. Amira has a woohoo with anyone ever. And now she wants to woohoo with Jabari. <gasps> okay, well, that's what she wants to do. But neither of them are feeling flirty. So I don't know if I should make them do any romantic interactions. Let's have them go sit together here. Oh no, guys. Amira is feeling flirty and Jabari's feeling confident and their romantic relationship has gone up so much. Wait, Jabari, where are you going? <sighs> guys, what do we do? Do they do a romantic interaction? I feel like it's too soon. I feel like it's too soon. I feel like they can still take things slow though, even if they accidentally kiss. Mira's feeling flirty, Jabari's feeling confident. I'm gonna wait to see if he's feeling flirty though. Uh, let's just ask him about day. I'm not doing any flirty interactions, they're just doing it on their own. But Amira wants to, she wants to. She wants Jabari to be her boyfriend and she wants to woohoo with Jabari too, but we're gonna wait on that a little bit. Okay, Jabari's feeling very flirty too. I don't think I can fight this anymore, you guys. I think it's just gonna happen. That first kiss interaction, oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, I don't know if she would ask him to be her boyfriend yet. I feel like she might accidentally kiss him before she asks to be boyfriend. I don't even think she wants to be in a relation, well, no, it's it says she does. It says she does. Oh man, guys, they're they're doing it. They're doing their first kiss. It is a dark, dreary, and cold day, but that is not stopping them at all from being romantic. Amira finally kissed him. I feel like Jabari's like, geez, finally. <laughs> I've told her I liked her so long ago, and now, now she finally kissed me. Like, they've been hanging out forever, so I feel like he's thinking she's either leading me on or she actually likes me, so we're just gonna have to see. Okay, we're, we're gonna stop it here, I think. Yeah, the kiss is enough for now. We're taking it slow. She told him she wanted to take it slow, so that's what they're gonna do. So I know this was a short episode, but I am going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I might end up recording the next episode, though, before this one actually comes out. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. We'll just have to see. So <laughs> if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I know I say that every episode, but please do it if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!